2001 A Space Odyssey. A Clockwork Orange. Eyes Wide Shut. Barry Lyndon. Paths of Glory. The Shining. Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Full Metal Jacket. Pretty impressive, right? Stanley Kubrick is rightfully considered to be one of the greatest movie directors of all time. His contributions to cinema are timeless with his cerebral, brooding, and sociological outlook on human nature. He managed to work in genres as diverse as drama, comedy, war, science fiction, and even horror. He always managed to push boundaries and do something unique. But did you know that Stanley Kubrick was Jewish? That's right. His patrilineal line has roots in the historical region of Galicia in the Austrian Empire. I'm Yona Paley, and I believe that genealogy is fun. And today, we're going to be learning a little bit about the legendary Stanley Kubrick. He was born in 1928 in Manhattan to Jacob Kubrick and Gertrude Perviller. Jacob Leonard, who often went by the name Jack or Jacques, was a homeopathic doctor who worked out of his home in the Bronx. And he was the son of Elias Kubrick and Rosa Spiegelblatt. In 1902, Jacob and Rosa sailed aboard the SS Statendom heading from Paris to New York City. And Rosa was clearly pregnant with Jacob as he would be born just three months later. It's unclear of whether or not Elias and Rosa met in France or whether it was in Eastern Europe. But we know that Elias came from an Austrian Jewish background and Rosa came from a Romanian background. On the manifest, it mentions that Elias' father is already residing in the United States, and this turns out to have been completely true. Uh, according to Elias' gravestone, his Hebrew name was Chaim Eliyahu ben Hirsch, his father being Hirsch, or Harry Kubrick. Harry was married twice. The first woman he was married to was someone named Esther Steckel. And in the 1870s, the couple gave birth to Elias along with his sister, Becky. And she must have died soon thereafter because it wasn't until around 15 or 20 years later that Hirsch remarried a woman named Leah and had a few more children with her. Stanley Kubrick's grandfather and great-grandfather both had the same profession, which was they were tailors. And I was lucky enough to be able to find both of their naturalization papers, which revealed to us the town in Europe where they were living, which was Probizna, a small village in the Tsortkiv region of modern-day Ukraine. If the name Tsortkiv rings a bell, it's because on our last video, when we were talking about Paul Simon of Simon and Garfunkel, it turns out his family was from a small village called Yalnitsia, also near Tsortkiv in modern day Ukraine. And the hometowns of both the Simon family as well as the Kubrick family are about a 30 to 35 minute drive away from each other. That's like going from Manhattan to Brooklyn on a moderately busy day. Now, thankfully, Family Search had a transcribed version of Hirsch's 1916 death certificate. And on that, we were able to learn the name of his parents, which were Mendel Kubrick and Esther Cohen. The only actual reference I was able to find of Mendel's was an 1872 death record of his 17-year-old daughter, 
Miriam in the town of Probizna. And it doesn't seem like there are a lot of records available online for that town, just a handful of death records from one specific period of time. However, according to the Roots to Roots Foundation, there do seem to be a few more records located at various archives. Next time you're sitting with friends watching 2001 A Space Odyssey and you hear the opening notes to Also Sprach Zarathustra begin to play, make sure to blurt out that Stanley Kubrick's great-great-grandfather was a guy named Mendel Kubrick from Probizna, Ukraine. I'm joking, of course. If you talk during movies, you don't deserve Stanley Kubrick. And that wraps up this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to bringing you more videos on famous Jews as well as tips and tricks that you can use in researching your own genealogy. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.